Now that we've set up our blog's appearance, we need to start adding content to our blog. We can do this in two ways, either through posts or through pages. During your classes, you learnt the difference between posts and pages. So let's have a look at posts first. The first thing we need to do is delete the default posts that Edublogs has put on our blog. So follow me over to the left hand menu and drop down menu under posts. Click on edit. Here we can see all the posts that we have on our blogs. At the moment there is just the default post by Edublogs. If I tick this and then click delete and confirm. This deletes the post. Now there are no posts so we need to add a new post. So under the post heading click on add new. First of all we give our post a title. I'll call this my first reflection. Then I can start typing my post in the area below. Now you'll notice that you have a little toolbar much like the one found in Microsoft Word. You can extend this toolbar by clicking on this coloured button on the right. Now you get many more options. Alright, I've typed in my first post and now I need to publish this. But if I want to see what it looks like before I publish, I can click preview. It will open the post in a new window. And this is what my first post will look like. Not bad. We can close this preview window and we can click Publish. Now if I go up to Visit Site, we can see that of course this post is now on our front page. Let's go to Meta and Site Admin. There are two other ways you can add a new post. Click on the button up the top of your screen that says New Post or quick press. You can quickly add a post using this form. So those are posts. Let's have a look at pages now. Pages are like web pages on any other internet site. So follow me over to the left hand menu and under pages click edit. Let's see what pages we have already. Of course, Edge of Blogs has put in a default page. Let's delete that. Now there are no pages, so we need to add a new page. Under the Pages drop down menu, choose Add New. The first thing we need to do is give our page a title. I'm going to call this one My Preferred Teaching Setting. Now, in the box below, once again, just like posts, I can add the content for this page. If you do not add any content on this page and you click Publish, Edublogs will automatically save the page as a draft and it will not appear on your blog. So make sure you add some content to this page as you create it. I've actually prepared my preferred teaching setting first in Microsoft Word. That way I could check the spelling and the grammar before I post this page. I select the text in Microsoft Word and I control C to copy it. I go back to my blog where I'm creating my page and on my toolbar you'll notice there's a paste from Word button. You need to use this button to put your text from Word into your blog. Otherwise the text may turn out all jumbled. So let's click on this button. Control V to paste our teaching setting and insert. And the text is inserted. Let's preview. That looks pretty good. Let's close this window and click Publish. Now let's go up to Visit Site. On our site we can see our first post, but over on the right, under my Pages widget, if 
I click on my preferred teaching setting, you will see here is my description. Let's go to Site Admin and we will add one more page. Click Add New. Let's call this page My PowerPoint Jeopardy. On this page we can write a short description of our PowerPoint Jeopardy game and we can upload the Jeopardy game. So I've written my introduction and at the bottom you can see it says download the game here. I want to make it so people can click on here and download the game. So highlight here, go up above your toolbar and click on the star. On this window you need to select your Jeopardy game but there's a bit of a trick to this. So let's select files Locate where your Jeopardy game folder is. Where the Jeopardy folder is, you should right click, find where it says send to, and choose compressed zip folder. From this, it will turn all the contents in this folder into one file. And you'll see it says a zipped file. You'll see there'll be a zipped folder or maybe in my case a stack of books. Whichever, you need to take this compressed zip file and click open. And once that's done you can give it a title and a description if you want. I'm just going to click insert into post or in this case it's a page. And here we have it. Download the game Jeopardy. Well. I'd like it to say Jeopardy game, so I'm just going to delete that and put game after it. And there we have it. Let's publish and see what this looks like. And go to my PowerPoint Jeopardy and let's click on download the Jeopardy game and you'll see people are able to download the Jeopardy file, unzip it on their computer and play it. Now on module 5 of the course web page there is a list of pages that you need to add to your blog. Go ahead and add those pages now. Now I've added all my pages and I've made sure that I've written something down in the text box so that the pages actually appear on my blog. I can add the content to them later. Let's go to our site and have a look at this. You'll notice under the pages widget there are all the pages on my blog. However, by default, Edger Blogs puts your pages in alphabetical order. You may want to put them in the order that you actually created the resources. Let me quickly show you how to do this. Let's go back to Site Admin and let's go down to Appearance and Widgets. Now on the right hand side you can see our Pages widget. And if we open that, in the middle it says Sort By and it says Page Title. But we can also choose Page Order. If we click on that, we click Save. Now let's go back to Edit Pages on the left here and you can see all our pages. Let's say we want our preferred teaching setting to go first. Let's hover over it and go quick edit. Over here on the right you'll see it says order. Let's keep this and put a 1 there and click update. Next we want our PowerPoint Jeopardy. Quick edit and let's put a 2 there and update. Go through and do this for all the pages until you have them in order. Now what you'll notice back on our front page is under the pages widget all my pages are now in the order that I created them during the course. And that's basically how we add posts and pages to our blog.